So speaking of crazy, this is one of my favorite stories that happened this week. All right. So Soho Karen, who attacked a black teen over a cell phone, has finally been arrested in L.A. And her name is Maya Ponsetto. Because, you know, we call her the Internet girl. Right. <laughs> and so she was apprehended in California yesterday after being pulled over near her home. And reports say she was at, she was as combative with the cops like she was acting a fool even with the cops. Now, last month, Maya was caught on tape in a New York City hotel accusing and assaulting a 14 year old child. Y'all Kenyon Harold Jr. of stealing her mobile device. Now, what? Did what, what took so long to arrest this little lady? OK. And also, I don't know if y'all seen the tape, but it was all the evidence on the world on the tape. And I just want to know from the two of y'all for right now. Did you see her disrespect Auntie Gail on the CBS morning show today? That interview infuriated me. For yeah. one, she was disrespectful to, Greg, to Gail. When she put her hand out there and was like, enough or yeah. shut it, or whatever she said yeah. to Gail. Yeah. And then two, it was just the carcassity of it all. Like I'm really right. starting to believe that the institution of whiteness is mental illness. That girl just refused to take any accountability for what it is and tried to explain her way out of it. And then when Gail wouldn't let up, she resorted to, I'm a 22 girl. What the hell 22 years old got to do with any damn thing? Then Gail asked her, well, were you, uh, were you uh, chasing everyone who came out of the building or just them? And she tap danced around those questions and tried to make herself. You know Danny, we got the video. So let, the, let everybody see what we're talking about here. Yes. Okay. You are old enough to know better. So I will say you're 22. Oh, I, I get it. Enough. The hotel enough. did have my phone. The hotel did end up having my phone. Ooh, ooh, it was the enough for me. And, and y'all know I said her name wrong. I said her name was Maya. Mm -mm, she ain't deserving the Maya. Her name is Mia. Okay, go see your ass out the door and get your ass some home training. That was just ridiculous. First of all, enough? Oh, I would have just shut my computer. It would have been over for me. No, I, let me tell you, every, everything about her just got underneath my skin. Not just the enough. The hat that read daddy on it. Well, what did daddy um, do you? What does that I mean? A lot of people. You know what daddy mean. What did, I know what daddy okay. I, I, know, know, I know what daddy Remember, remember Gail even talked about it in her interview. She said that she even was told that maybe she should take that hat off. And she said, no, I'm good. Well, what, so the, she was, what daddy mean? I, I, don't, I don't get the secret meaning. I, I, you guys know what daddy mean, right? I know daddy. What daddy is she talking about? Or okay, that, exactly. She's not a father. She don't have, she's not a man. Okay, so why would a woman have a daddy hat on? Daddy? So you think she was just trying to be, I mean, daddy? she's trying to be I think she, I think she, that was That was her extension of being even more disrespectful than she has been in this whole process. Because mm -hmm. remember, the thing that pissed me off is about her play on the culture, right? Her mm -hmm. play on her white privilege. Remember she said in the interview with Gail that, oh, I apologize for making him feel inferior. Oh. Inferior means that you were exercising at the time of the claim that he stole something from you, that you were white privileged, correct? Mm -hmm. Because she said, oh, I'm sorry if I made him feel inferior, but he didn't steal anything from you. That was his phone. You attacked him. How are you going to make him feel inferior unless you were exercising superiority? And right? I'm going to something. She better be. She better be lucky his mama wasn't there because a black exactly. woman would turn her ass every which way except loose for jumping exactly. on her baby. Right. Because no, she no, she really jumped on him. She was she was very aggressive. See, my whole thing is I I would have never allowed it to even get to that point because first of all, it's a cell phone. This is easy. And the, the manager should be fired because the first thing you do in an escalation in a situation like that is you separate the two. You take the young man to the corner and say, show me, unlock your phone for me. Mm -hmm. If he can unlock the phone, it's his phone. Show me your contacts. If the contacts in the phone are his, it's his phone. I would have never allowed that young lady to buy rate to, to, berate him that young man Me, and even bet. his family for more than five minutes it just would You're never happen it's right. called 
freaking privilege. And you at the are time, absolutely right, Al. These listen. people in these situations feel like they can get away with treating us like secondhand class citizens for no reason. But not anymore. And we are back, guys. Let me tell you something. Me, Al <laughs> Tamar, TGIF, we don't broke the dog on internet, baby. Exactly. So much so that Tamar don't got off the line. Oh, we got to knock Tamar, Tamar off the internet. First of all, Tamar is back. Okay. <laughs> I have quarantine um, service like everybody else. Sometimes it knocks the ass off your throne, but you come right back. How about that? <laughs> they said we was being too messy, Tamar. We had done broke the internet. That yeah. Jeffree Star um, story. Yeah, it was Jeffree Star. And you know, the Lord was, has been bridling my tongue. I had asked him to bridle my tongue. And I was just about to go in on that daddy hat. <laughs> right? Y'all know what that daddy hat is. That that daddy hat was disrespectful, period. Yes, it was, this, period. She was, she, and she disrespected Gail, a black female. She d disrespected that young 14 year old, a black male. She disrespected that daddy. She was, she has been disrespectful across the board. <clears throat> and this, her going to jail or her getting arrested was the best thing that ever happened to her. But what did you say, Funky? I'm tired of talking about white fish. I'm ready to move on. <laughs> oh. I refuse to privilege her tonight. Well, you know, <laughs> unfortunately, the white fish is showing their ass, especially this week. <laughs> so we have that a slew of white fish drama. Now, okay, so let's yes. just change the fish into male fish. Okay, mm -hmm. if there's something called male fish, I don't know about yeah. that. But okay, uh, University of Tennessee at Chattanooga football coach Chris Malone has been fired following a nasty comment that he made on Twitter about Georgia voting leader Stacey Abrams. Now his his now deleted tweet reads, congratulations to the state Georgia and fat, fat Albert Stacey Abrams because you have truly shown America the true works of cheating in an election again. Now, now that the Senate is blue, can we expect more racist outbursts like this or you think we cool for the next four years? Mm. Listen. Yeah, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what's so, what's so interesting to me. I, I'm just enjoying the repercussions that these people are seeing because of their racial um, actions. Mm -hmm. And now that there's a transition in administration, I think we're going to see this type of stuff not be tolerated. And finally, mm -hmm. we're going to get respected the way that we need to be respected. Now, you know, I'm a financial guy. So I always come from the financial angle. The University of Tennessee's coaching staff, their budget is a $50.7 million staff for those for the football team and, and athletics in the state of Tennessee. 50.7 million dollars the fact that he thought he had the right to make that statement i'm sure he's going to think about it when that two million dollars that he makes every year is gone and not only is it going to be gone for this season it's going to be gone for a couple of seasons because nobody is going to tolerate that type of racism in their clubhouse period so i'm enjoying this movement right now because it's making them accountable for their disrespectful ways he knew exactly what he was saying when he made the analogy. So people out here can argue because all up and down Twitter, they're talking about there's a thing called freedom of speech. Okay, he does have a freedom of speech, but 80% of those kids that he coached, 80% of those kids are African-American kids. So for you to make that statement is not only inappropriate, but it's derogatory and it's not acceptable. Goodbye. Here's the thing, right? This is how you know the institution of whiteness and racism is mental illness. We have already seen so many examples of people getting canceled already for stuff like this. You got this high profile job and you still did not think twice about doing it. That is mental illness. We've already seen people get canceled for doing this type of stuff. And the more concerning part for me is the fact that 
You said this so comfortably, which means the people right. around you, your village, your tribe, your neighbors feel the same way you do. That's why you felt so emboldened to be able to say something so doggone ludicrous about Stacey Abrams. And why is it, white folks, that y'all think this election was stolen? Like, 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 because there were other candidates and stuff on the <laughs> same ballot. So only the presidential part was stolen, but the other parts was was not stolen. Like, make it make sense for me. Oh, pick me. Pick Go, me. Ahead, Tay. Go ahead, Tamar. Go ahead, Tamar. My issue is, you know, Danny, I have to agree with you uh, to a certain extent. Now, I, I would have to say that majority of this is um, the um, definition of privilege. I'm sorry, mental illness. And that comes from the head. Our president is a pure narcissist, okay? That's right. That does fall under the umbrella of mental illness. Now, I can't say that everybody else that has been disorderly and that has been disrespectful and that has been outright racist has a mental disability, okay? But what they do suffer from is, I can say delusion what can say because that leader has given me a platform to be openly racist. Okay, that's and I, right. Whatever I want to say to demean any type of black person—that means a black woman, a black man, a black professional. Okay, a, a black person, a black mother, a black father—it doesn't matter. And I think that this is the definition of someone who has a platform to say what they want to say, and what the hell you gonna do about it? That's what that is to me. Okay, so right. for me, for a man to even belittle a woman and call her Fat Albert, I just want to, mm -mm, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even do, right, right. I don't even do violence. That means you have absolutely no respect for any women of any kind or the black community at that. So for me, right. it's. It's the Fat Albert comment for me. And I have yes. to YouTube, YouTube's going off about it. Raymond's like, oh, hell no, nah, they ain't call her Fat Albert. That's just rude. And you know what? And I'd like to say this too. And somebody just said on um, YouTube, black men need to speak up and defend black women. Yeah, but also the head of the house, which is Donald J. Trump should not be giving permission to any other American to talk negatively or in derogatory about another race. And that's right. where it starts. Mm -hmm. Period. This right. ain't got to do with the black man and no, black he, he, That's right. He definitely oh, ushered right. in, he definitely ushered in this feeling that they can say anything that they want to say without any repercussions. That's why I'm actually enjoying the other side of this. The other side of this is that America is now saying, you know what? His ridiculousness is, in a, is, unappro is inappropriate. And not only is it inappropriate, but we're going to fire people who make two and three million dollars a year when they make derogatory comments against people of color. There, that's finally, finally, there's responsibility for their ridiculousness. So can I'm I enjoying you, it. Can I tell you, my teenager, the videos that be going around on Instagram and stuff, when they be trying that stuff with black people in the gas station, they be whooping their like I just, I right. just love it. Y'all white folks, y'all better be careful going around because you're gonna run up on the wrong person and say the wrong damn thing. I saw a meme that said, "We are not our ancestors. Everybody is not with that uh, nonviolent march from Montgomery to Selma." Right. Some of us is from the hood, and you're going to get your ass toe up talking that crazy foolishness to people. I, I think he needs to come. I think he needs to come back to that locker room when the rest of those football players that work that, that play part. on his team come in that locker room that and part. see what he tweeted. And they and Miss Abrams look just like they mama and they grandmama <laughs> and they sister and see what he got to say then when those 55 players are staring straight in his face and say, Who you talking about now, player? That's, That's what he needs. 